greatest alive I'm the greatest alive I'm the greatest to fear me Ain't nobody seeing me God damn we back at it Coming to the end of 2019 Got less than a week left in the year Less than a week left in the decades Wow Logic Logic man We gonna go over the top my, my favorite top 5 Logic songs of 2019 so he's released two projects in Supermarket and Confessions of Dangerous Mind. He released over 20 songs over the course of this year. And then with OCD, just a few months ago, released on my birthday. 22 years old. Throwback. Solid track. And uh, over 20 songs over the course of this year. So we got a diverse selection. A diverse selection between the songs, you know. Um, we got some, it's got some, got some rock inspiration throughout the, throughout the supermarket. You know, some indie. You know, we got some, always oh, got some raps and some bars from Logic and the Confession of the Dangerous Mind. You know, we got the, got the song from the, the, the introspective, of Confession of the Dangerous Mind single and OCD. We're gonna go, 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 go through it all in my top five favorite Logic songs of 2019. So, without further ado. Here we go. Number five, we got DeLorean. Oh, at least in the supermarket project, man, DeLorean. I remember the first time we got to that song. The song just hit the heart, hit the soul. It's just, it's just so slow, so heartfelt. Of course, DeLorean is inspired by a Back to the Future uh, movie series. And uh, it, that song, man, it just hits different. Logic's vocals on there, especially the chords, where he just hits the high note. He just hits it so good. And uh, Miami put it in, he put that, that song in the slow down reverb. Oh my god, when that song is slowed down. <sighs> I'm telling you, bro, you listen to DeLorean slow it down, it just hits different. That chorus just, vocal, Lodge's vocals on that on that track is just amazing. So, number five, DeLorean. That's a, that's, a, that's a hit right there. Next, we got is Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, the title track. You know, that was a. Short, short, even before Supermarket came out, that was a track we had to the to, to the announcement of the album itself, and uh, that was something we haven't seen in a while from Logic. Him heartfelt, him thinking about his thoughts. Of course, his confessions and dangerous minds. So, him thinking about thoughts going through social media, him detaching from it, and, and why he has done, detached himself from social media. And that. that was something we, we thoroughly enjoyed from Logic. You know, it was, it came to expect from the album. Kind of did it in the beginning and then just fell apart. We don't know what happened to the man at that point in the album, but the title track itself was a solid hit. You know, it's just, it's just, for everyone who ever listened to it, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a solid one from Logic and we just don't know what happened to the album as a whole. But the album still could, still gave off some, one, some, some good other tracks because the next track we got after that, that number three is Homicide featuring Eminem. No, we, we, we come up as a Logic fan, you know, like, you always get the comparisons of Eminem, man. You always get the comparisons of Eminem. So you always wonder, like, what a Logic Eminem track would sound like. And it finally happened. I remember when I was in the, I think I came out of class. I'm like, why am my phone blowing up on Twitter? And I check, I'm like, Logic? Eminem? It actually happening? You know, the precursor to this, before, uh, I believe around February, Eminem brought Logic into a to a festival that he was doing in Hawaii. So that's that was the first time they met each other, and then it was bound to happen. I didn't know it was gonna happen so soon, especially on Logic's track, uh, Homicide. You know, between them, Logic. It was weird because Homicide Logic went off like his his uh, his chorus, his hook on Homicide is one of the fastest verses he ever spit in his life. Ever recorded, of course. That we no. But his verses is okay. He talk about the rap game. Talk about how him and Eminem are killing the rap game. It was all right, you know. Eminem, of course, is going to outdo him because Eminem, you can't really outdo Eminem even on your own track. It's hard to do that. But Elijah oh, could have done better, so that's why it's not my. This this song is not the top of my list because he could have done so much better, but. You still did a solid job between Logic and Eminem. Number two, we got OCD. Released on October 25th, my birthday. You know, OCD is what we had in Confession of Dangerous Minds, what we thought we was gonna have, man. We had uh, Down to Earth with the vocals on the chorus and then his, his verse on the, in, in the beginning of the track. And that's, a, that's another track. We slow it down, it just hits different. Down to Earth vocals just hits different. <laughs> And then Logic's two verses talk about social media, which we thought again was going to be on Confession and Dangerous Mind, but turned out didn't happen. But he just talk about social media, talk about how it's hurting him and how we should, 
how, how we should devolve, devolve from social media as a whole, you know, take bits and parts of it and just try to make sure it not affects our mental health. And Elijah coaches that how he's just trying to still on his on his journey to find happiness, trying to find the balances in his life. You know, he got he got a new wife, he got got he got a boy on the way, so uh, he's just trying to find balance in his all. And we just hoping that OCD turns out with no pressure would be and is a true sequel to uh to under pressure. And OCD, hopefully, hopefully OCD is a precursor to that and not be a failure like confession in Major's mind. And number one, number one, my favorite track. 2019 from Logic, Lost in Translation, Lord Jesus, right? I'm like, just, just, just on the intro bridge, he's like, chilling with my homies and we vibing. Always posting that I'm sipping, I ain't driving. Life a motherfucker, but we still surviving. Call up people time, nigga, we still arriving. Like, that just hits differently, man. That's just the vibe. Then he comes out the case. I feel like Andre pre-3K, he just went off, he went off, like, to, to close out Confessions of Nature's Mind, which is disappointing to many people's eyes, including myself, to close out that album with that, it's just like, where was this? Where was this? Like, it, it, it wasn't really, like, introspective anything, it's just that like, logic was going off, he had bar at the bar, punchline after punchline, and he did it with fast bars and raps. He had an epitome of what we've seen in the past decade from the man. Everything we all ever wanted was in Lost in Translation. Then once he calmed down, he said he's, he, he's feeling like Andre post 3K. He slowed, he slowed it down. And some raw boom bap. Raw boom bap logic. The Yo Sinatra we all came to know and love. He just came out with more bars, more metaphors, more double entendres. Hard rap spit. Like he closed it out so perfect. He came in with the with the nice little slow down little vibe. Came in with the fast bars, the metaphors, and banging it out. Then he closed it down with the boom back. I I just don't know. This, this man did it all. So lost in translation will always be my favorite Logic 2019 track. So if you like the video, please like the video. I got more content like this always coming soon. So please subscribe. See you next video.